automating your home's thermostats play a significant role in energy saving and conform. It is a delight to have an appropriate and functional thermostat purchase. So it must be done consciously, mostly due to compatibility issues. Actually, purchasing all the smart devices must be done in complete awareness in order to prevent dissatisfaction, wasting money, and next. As another step, I'll include MH7 MCO Home Thermostat, which is a Z-Wave Plus water and or electrical heating thermostat to Home Assistant running Z-Wave JS to see how this model works in Home Assistant. By the way, pairing Z-Wave devices with Home Assistant, you need a Z-Wave dongle. Before continuing the video, if you are interested in such videos related to compatibility issues, please click the subscribe button and motivate me to upload more videos. And at the end, if you find this video informative, please like it. Stay tuned. Let's add MH7 thermostat to Home Assistant. Inside bar of Home Assistant, I click on configuration, select integrations, then select configure on Z-Wave JS. By clicking on add node, then start inclusion, Home Assistant enters into inclusion mode. While Home Assistant is in inclusion mode by entering MH7 thermostat to inclusion mode, it will be added to Z-Wave network. To enter MH7 thermostat to inclusion mode, in normal working condition S4 or the up button must be touched and hold. Until three lines are displayed. These three lines means the device is not added to any Z-Wave network. Then again, the S4 button must be touched. It is added to Z-Wave network and its ID in Z-Wave network is 14. I wait a few seconds until Home Assistant finishes configuring the thermostat. Okay, configuration is done. I select devices. Among the list of devices, we can find water, electrical, heating, thermostat. Manufacturer is MCO Home Technology. Model is MH7. Integration is Z-Wave JS. I click on it. In entity sections, we have three items. I start from the last one. The last one is humidity sensor. At the moment, the humidity of my envi environment is 33%. I click on the first item in entities. This is the thermostat. Let's go to overview page. In Home Assistant sidebar, I click on overview. I click on three dots. Select edit dashboard. Click on add card. In entities section, I remove pre-selected devices from the drop-down list I select water electrical heating thermostat in title section I set a name for it we can add humidity sensor too from the drop-down list I select humidity sensor water electrical heating thermostat humidity then I click Save 
thermostat is added to the overview page by clicking or selecting the first item its UI is displayed at the moment you see that the operation is hit by clicking on it you can turn the thermostat to off I turn it on in present section or let's say drop down list we have three items none energy heat away these are options of thermostat none is normal condition working by using these two arrows you can increase target temperature or decrease it at the moment thermostat is heating currently the temperature of environment is 26.9 and set point is 34 let's control thermostat using its touch panel or let's say its panel I increase the set point you can wait for 15 seconds to be set or click the F button you can see immediately home assistant shows 35 let's change it okay now I turn the thermostat off home assistant shows the real status of thermostat immediately I turn it I set it to auto home assistant shows that set it to manual using panel of thermostat pressing and holding s2 button or F away mode is enabled and immediately home assistant shows that so MH7 MC home thermostat is fully compatible in home assistant I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question do not hesitate to leave comments bye bye